Okay, let's uh, do this second one, and this will be the last one of these that we do for today, but we'll address that question that we um, got asked off camera, um, that we didn't hear on camera, but it was a good question, so um, let's talk about it. So let's do 10, and uh, we'll go through the same analysis, um, we'll, and then when we get to that point, we'll talk about that uh, unit. But anyways, uh, so based on the information available on the periodic table, what is the elemental symbol of tin? Okay, so tin is a weird one. But remember, uh, elemental symbols are uh, either one or two letters. Uh, and tin is two letters. The second letter is always lowercase. Um, and a lot of times they'll go along with what you would expect them to be in the English um, speaking English about the elements, but uh, they don't always, as you can see. Um, tin is S-N, and it has to do with the history of um, the naming of tin, Stannis, and things like that. You'll hear um, that term Stannis in referring to tin if you go on in chemistry a lot more. But anyways, um, so the elemental symbol of tin is this S-N. Uh, the atomic number of 10 is here, it's 50. Remember, it's the 50th element on the periodic table. The atomic weight of 10, so this is where the question was. Um, the atomic weight, like we said, was a weighted average, so 118.710. And actually, there's units associated with that, um, so 118. Point seven one zero um, Daltons is the uh, unit that's currently being used. Um, there's a somewhat antiquated, but uh, fairly, um, uh, I don't know, well used uh, alternative to Dalton, and it's AMU, and it means atomic mass unit. And in fact, there's a conversion factor. One Dalton equals one AMU. And uh, so, in this case, it would be 118.710 AMU. That's how much uh, the average tin atom weighs. But anyways, uh, this is just uh, Dalton. So a lot of my problems, I think I use AMU because the book that I've been using used AMU. But anyways, uh, we really should talk about Dalton's too. Um, because Dalton is in uh, reference to John Dalton, the father of atomic theory or whatever. You know, so that's kind of, um, you know, his little thing. But anyway, so if you want to remember, these numbers do have to have units behind them. And that's the units. Either one of those would work. Um, so, how many protons does uh, tin contain? Well, it's going to be the same as the atomic number. So, number of protons is 50. Um, how many electrons does it contain? Well, it contains the same number of protons as it does electrons. Um, so, 50. Um, is tin a metal, metalloid, or non-metal? Well, it's right there near the staircase, but um, it's actually right to the left of it, so um, uh, it's actually a metal. So it's a P block metal. And what group is it in? Um, well, this is usually found at the very top. In fact, tin is way down in the periodic table if you're looking at it. So this is usually found much higher at the top of the. Um, column or the top of the group, but this is group 4A or 4B. Okay. So that was a good question. I'm glad that we were able to do another one and get it taken care of. Any questions? <laughs>